Welcome back, my name is Gert. Today we're going to try something different. The last video I shot the um, 18 grainers and the 15 grainers at just over a thousand feet per second on the 50 meter range and I did not get the results that I got on the 30 meter range as well. So today we're going to try something totally different. Welcome to Aim Small. I'm your slightly lunatic presenter called Gert and I'm here to enlighten you with my real life experiences. I am not strong armed by any manufacturer, so what you'll see on this channel is my own personal experience and yes, some of it will be my own opinion. Remember, I buy everything on this channel myself, for that reason I'm very poor. And if something is sponsored, I will clearly indicate if this is a sponsored product, yes or no. So that's my promise to you, the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. From here on, it's your choice if you want to watch or if you want to leave the channel. But thanks for watching and keep your hat on. The fun is about to start. <laughs> Beat that! Five shots, same hole. I've detuned the gun all the way down to 80 bar, 80 bar, um, and on minimum power. And that's my starting point for today. So I'm going to shoot a couple of pellets. First, the 15 grainers. And then maybe in the second video I'll do the same with the 18 grainers. And what I'm going to try and do is to find the optimal speed for these individual pallets. Alright, so finding the right speed, you need to shoot a lot of pallets to get that sweet spot that you, that you like. So I'm going to shoot a heck of a lot today. I'll condense the video. It's probably about 4 to 5 hours worth of shooting that I need to condense into a 10 or 15 minute video. So bear with me on this one. The four 15.89 grainers that I've selected are the JSB Exacts. I've got the HN Barracuda 15s. I've got the Olympia Shot Dome. And I've got the HN Terminator. Because I just love these Terminators. They punch such a nice little round hole in the target. So easy to spot. So that's the exercise for today. Take four different pallets. Put the gun on 80 bar, see what the speed is, shoot a couple of groupings and then slowly increase the power in the gun up until where I see that the groupings start to open or where they start to close. So this is going to be as much as an experiment for me as it is for you watching this video. Thank you. Let's try and get into the action. First up, JSBs, 15.89 grain. Let's give them a twirl. Wow, all right, 885 feet per second. Oh, don't know what happened with the last one, but it's safe to say at 880 feet per second, these 16 grainers are spot on. Next up, the Barracuda 15s from H&M. Oof, running a little bit slower at 870 feet per second. All right, acceptable, good speed for them. Next up, Olympia Domes, also 15.89 grain. Two massive flyers, the rest dead center. Sure. They're coming out a lot slower at 850 feet per second. I'm off the rig. The middle group came off the rig, that's why it was so slow. They're actually running at 890 feet per second. Grouping is okay-ish. It's not single holding, it's okay-ish. Let's try another one. These will be the H&N Terminators, also in 15 grain. 16.36. Sure. 
Now that is a good opening group at 877 feet per second. Alright, I think that's some of the best groupings I've ever shot with the H&N Terminators. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So the speed at 870, um, that is usually the speed I prefer to shoot my pellets at, between 840 and 870. But these 16 grainers are absolute lasers at that speed. So why change? Because I can. So next move, I'm going to up the rec pressure a little bit, up the speed a little bit, and see what happens. Time for the next one. So now I've got the regulator set at around about 95 bar. It did settle at 75 bar first time round. So this is 20 bar extra air. Hammer everything exactly the same. So this is purely an increase in speed because of more rec pressure. Starting with the JSBs. Not too shabby, 919 feet per second. <laughs> Just gonna aim half a mole dot lower. Ah. One thing that I've noticed is on the crony is that this gun is super, super consistent. The last four shots at 921 exactly, and the one before that, 923. Very, very consistent. Alright, that wasn't too bad, so let's go over to the Barracuda 15s and they are in 15.89 grain. They don't like the speed, 914 feet per second. Now having said that, the next five Super, super accurate. What the heck? Red pressure is fine. Everything is fine. Weird. I'm getting some inconsistency with the Barracuda 15s at this speed. So it might be that I've reached the top limit of the speed already. But let's go with the Terminators. Let's see what they do. a better second grouping again but I can actually see them starting to spiral a little bit there in the front let's go one more that's a half an inch group not spectacular but still reasonable last one up in this series Olympia Domes Again, that second group, not too bad. 919 feet a second. Half moon high, don't like that at all. All right, so that is the 15 grainers, 95 bar, running at plus minus 920 feet per second. I think the next setting is going to totally destabilize, but only one way to find out is to shoot them. For the last run, I adjusted the rig to 110 bar, still shooting off minimum power. Let's see what this baby can do. Wow, 995 and they are still grouping. Right, it's safe to say that at uh, 995 feet per second, these JSBs are starting to open up already. But that's quite impressive, all the way from 870 to where did I shoot them last? 920, 
perfect, perfect, perfect. But at a thousand feet or 995 per, uh, feet per second, they start to open up. Let's see what the Barracudas can do, the Barracuda 15s. Right, around about 988. That's impressive. That's under a half an inch grouping. I can live with that. 984 feet per second. Hmm. Olympia domes. Last one in the lightweight division, the Terminator. Wow, okay, interesting. 965 feet per second. Hmm. They actually love the higher speed. 965, that is a decent grouping. I can live with that. Oh, well, let me go and measure up and do the comparison for you between the different speeds and then my final conclusion. Let's start off with the JSBs. At 855 feet per second, these pallets were grouping quite excellent. And I'll go out hunting with that accuracy any day. When we move up to the slightly higher speed, even at 920 feet per second, they were still shooting extremely, extremely accurate. But the moment we moved them up to 995, I lost that consistency that I need when I go pest control. So it's safe to say that you can shoot these JSBs anywhere between 800 and let's say 40 feet per second all the way up to around about 940 950 feet per second anything above that and they will start to destabilize especially if there's a crosswind the hnn barracuda 15 showed basically the same results they weren't grouping as tightly as the jsbs but tight enough especially when i push them a little faster here in the 900 feet category but again the moment we go up to 980 feet per second they start to destabilize again so again safe to, safe to say 840 to 950 that's the sweet spot for these h and n's as well the Olympia domes came out a little bit faster than the other pallets out of the barrel at 890 feet per second and I saw good groupings there but the moment it went over 910 feet per second it started to open up and you can see that consistency is gone. The moment I got to the 980s eh, all over the show. So the Olympia domes they like the slower speeds anything above 900 feet per second and you're going to waste ammo and air. I do think the surprise package was the Terminators. Not just because it's Arnold's own babies, but they shopped immaculately. Even at 877 feet per second, all the way up to 919 feet per second. But yet again, in the 960s, 970s, they started to open up. But that was probably the best groupings I've ever shot with these Terminators. Well done. All right. So that leaves us to the final conclusion. It is quite obvious. At 870 feet per second, with all these pallets, a big, big yes. No argument about that. The moment we push up the speed to 920, I still have a couple of yeses, but there's already one pallet showing a maybe into this picture. And then when we push it to the very 900s, I get a definite no. Although there's some similarance of grouping, nope, I cannot trust these pallets at this speed, specifically if I go pest control and I need a humane killing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's me for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one when I shoot the heavier pellets, the 18 grainers, and even something a slightly heavier than that. Watch this space. 
Yeah, that's all, folks.